The humanities are the study of what people do as humans, what we believe, what we value, where we came from, how we're different from each other. These questions have never been more important to talk about than they are right now. The Center for the Humanities and the Public Sphere at the University of Florida has a threefold goal. One is to support faculty and graduate students in their research on the humanities. The second is to create a space where people can come together at UF and think about the humanities in collaborative ways. The third is the engagement with the community. Part of the name of the center itself is actually attached to communities, the public sphere. So the public sphere is always broad and it can be any debate, any questions, any topic, any issues, and it also can be a celebration of something as well. When you think about the humanities, we think about arts, we think about um, English, we think about classic, we think about history. But at the same time, we have the communities, and I think that's pretty much why we're trying to create a space where both of them can actually coexist. The thing that I think is most important is the way that the center supports all of our research. The way that that impacts the community is that it provides an access point to create equity and inclusion. You know, it makes a way that the institution is not sort of seen as this insurmountable institution that doesn't allow for engagement with the community, but people can learn. And you don't have to have a, necessarily a degree, but you can come to the center and be able to be in dialogue with lots of really amazing scholars, scholarship, and ideas. Our project is called the Hip Six Podcast that tells about the founding of the Hippodrome Theater in Gainesville, Florida in the 1970s. To use what you, your resources and your information and your ability to create a podcast, what the Hippodrome had to offer these people's voices and their stories, I think. It's been really awesome in that way. I would say it's in the vein of the, the public humanities. When we think of the community, right, those that are sort of outside the university. So it's an exposure to the humanities, humanistic knowledge, the way in which humanistic knowledge circulates, which is in a variety of forms. So that could be a lecture, it could be an exhibition, it could be storytelling. So there's many, many ways, right, in which the humanities can happen, right? So that's very important when we think about outreach to the community. Conversation in Neighborhood, for instance, we decided to use a topic that people will think is very mundane, which is food. What can we talk about when it comes to food besides, okay, we eat, right? But there are so many things that we can explore with food. How museum can include cookbooks, that's a humanities topic, because we have people who study English, we also have food scholars, and we also have museum scholars, and even community members coming together and say, this is how a museum can actually do this. This is a program that is specifically designed for community members. So it's a space that provides this opportunity for scholars and community members to be in conversation with each other. All of our programs are open to the public. In addition, we have a grant that is available for faculty, staff, and students to collaborate with a nonprofit or a different organization or a community member in the community. My colleague and I were awarded a grant. We worked with sixth to eighth grade girls from local schools of the broader Gainesville area. And what we tried to do is create for them a space where they could consider and reconsider their roles as young, empowered women, both in their personal lives, but also as members of their communities. We were able to see humanities in general through a different lens and see how we can adjust our teaching methods and research methods to make them accessible to diverse audiences. We had a very targeted audience for our program and we think you know, it was very successful, um, but seeing the other programs in the group, you know, both from our year and years prior, it seems like the cultural knowledge and sharing specific to Florida, I really appreciate seeing that. I think seeing that the center is involved in things that are so broad and so, so different, it's a very nice aspect of it. The center brings a real spirit of collaboration, excitement, and interest in creating cross-fertilization so that things can happen among scholars, among community members, again, among artists and authors that might not have happened if those people hadn't been brought together. And they're doing it for the interest of the community. The team members at the center are so eager to connect with the community beyond the campus of UF and to share the resources and knowledge they have with Gainesville. It's truly a pleasure to work with them every time, and I always learn something from the experience. So one of the things about having a university in your city 
is the aspect that it has of going beyond what the community can offer. When you have innovative professors who will go the extra mile to not only find out what the community wants to hear, but bring in community participants to join in with the faculty at the university to bring them all together in one uh, presentation or one sharing of ideas, I think that's a big plus. People come to the University of Florida for an education, but it can't be just on the campus. The education is out in the community. My vision for the future of the center is that it would be a place that people know and that they always feel welcome, that they know to come to find resources, to engage with us, to ask us questions, but that they also bring their events and their programs and their ideas to us so that we can connect them with other people and other organizations. Get in touch with us. Tell us what you're interested in. What stories need to be told? What resources would support your work in celebrating the humanities of our wonderful state, but also internationally?